Okay, today and tomorrow we're going to be taking notes in a mini book. Uh, but first, it's not going to look like a mini book. You should have been passed out um, two and a half copies. So you've got two pages that are full of tabs. Um, yours have a little bit more words in them than mine. They look like this. <clears throat> so make sure that you've got two full pages of different tabs and then a half page. This is actually going to be our, our front page. Um, I don't want you to cut these out yet. Honestly, if you make mistakes while you're doing our note taking, you might want to start fresh and it's just easier to do it before we, uh, before we cut. I cut mine out though, so ignore me ignoring my own rule. <clears throat> um, before we have started this, I'm hoping that you have taken some time to try to figure out what would be in the blanks for the words of the product rule and the quotient rule. These are the two that we're going to be doing today. Again, I've cut mine out. You've got this one on one piece of paper and this one on another. Um, that's fine. Don't cut them out today. Um, tomorrow we will do the other three. The two we're working on today also are related to these two um, proof sheets. So hopefully what you have written down here was able to help you predict what we're going to be filling in the blanks with right now. All right, so let's start with the product rule. This is our page one. When multiplying exponents with the same base, I'm guessing most of you got that, keep the base and what do we do with the product rule? We add the powers. So to make this confusing because it's algebra, we start off with an algebraic example where the entire example is in variables and no numbers, but we can make this work. We've got the same base. The base is X. So X stays there. What's happening with the exponents? We add them N plus M. And that is the answer. That's one thing about this. You guys are going to have to get over that discomfort of coming up with a perfect looking answer. Answers to the um, activities we're doing the next few days look messy like that. And that's okay. So here we're going to do um, an example with all numbers, four to the second power times four to the fourth power. Let's show the step here. That means we would do four is the base, two plus four are the exponents. That means the answer is four to the sixth power. And we do not need to get a calculator to figure out what that giant number would be. Four to the sixth power is enough. We're just Using the exponent rules, we don't have to come up with the numeric value of that. <clears throat> okay, 12 to the fifth and 12 to the third are being multiplied. That means the base is 12. That's already filled in for us. We're going to do 5 plus 3. And we get 12 to the eighth. And then let's take a look at our example, uh, our last example for today. We have x to the third times y to the fourth. What do you notice is going on here? We have different bases. We can't do this one. Okay, so we're unable to do that one. <clears throat> Why? Because it has two different bases. Okay, now we're gonna look at the quotient rule. Keep this paper. We will cut it out tomorrow and put the notebook together tomorrow, the mini notebook. All right, let's get to the quotient rule here. When dividing exponents with the same, yep, base, keep the base and this time we subtract the powers. So if you remember from our um, wonderful proof sheet, what we're doing here is we're subtracting the bottom exponent from the top exponent. So let's really take a look here. We've got M in the bottom and N in the top. So we're going to do N minus M. 
I know, bottom top, really great mathematical language. But the M is in the denominator. The N was in the numerator. That's positive. When this comes up, we're subtracting it. What's going to happen here? Same thing. We have 9 minus 6. This one has to stay the same because it's all variables. This one we can simplify to 4 to the third power. And yes, I know you all know how to find 4 to the third power, but we don't have to. That is a complete answer in these. All right, let's look at this one. It's a little bit different. We have 2 here and 4 here. And when I get 2 minus 4, that's not a positive number. That means our exponent is negative 2. Nope, the whole thing is gone. Oh.